Hello guys, I am a bot. And today I came with a video on topic of best Java books of 2020. Java is one of the most popular programming languages in the world. It is object-oriented, platform-independent and more secured than other programming languages, as it can be used to design web applications, desktop applications, mobile applications, big data processing, embedded system and so on. If you want to learn Java, there are many books available in the market. In this video, we have compiled the best books for Java, both for beginners and intermediates, experts. Each of these books is extremely popular so it is up to you to choose the ones you like according to your learning sensibilities. Firstly we cover beginner level books. In this countdown number one book is Core Java Volume 1 Fundamentals by K.S. Horstman. This book is a Java reference book that offers a detailed explanation of various features of Core Java, including exception handling, interfaces, and Lambda expressions. Significant highlights of the book include simple language, conciseness, and detailed examples. This book helps Java programmers develop an ability to write highly robust and maintainable code. Number 2. Head First Java by Kathy Sierra and Bert Bates. This book covers the core language and the concepts of OOP on the real-world examples. It has a very user-friendly interface, you'll get engaged from the first page till you finish it. You won't immediately start to code after you read Head First Java, but you will understand without any difficulties the logic of this language and its main concepts. Each chapter ends with exercises and puzzles, they will help you memorize the material. Number third book is Java, Programming Basics for Absolute Beginners by Nathan Clark. This book is an excellent book that provides a thorough introduction to Java that will have you writing programs and solving problems in no time. As you work through this book, you will learn the key topics of Java along with practical examples. This book is written specifically for beginners with a step-by-step -step through the first program along with a guide through the inner workings of the Java Development Kit and Java Runtime Environment. There are also multiple examples to illustrate each topic like data types, variables, constants, operators, type conversion, loops, decision making, etc. Our next book is Java, A Beginner's Guide by Herbert Schildt, 8th edition. Generally, Schildt's guide is considered to be among the three or at least five best books for Java beginners. But this book requires a little bit more understanding of programming comparing to the previous sources. It will deepen your understanding of Java origins and its relations to other programming languages. It is profound research about the core concepts of Java which explains the code by line and guides you from the basic understanding of data types, classes and objects to more complex concepts like lambda expressions and functional interfaces. The great part of this book is a self-test section at the end of each chapter. Our last book for beginner level is Clean Code, a handbook of agile software craftsmanship by Robert C. Martin. When you're new to programming, you don't pay much attention to your code style, as you're focused on avoiding the obvious mistakes. But improving your style is very important in your further work. This book will show you the difference between good code and bad code and teach you major rules of writing clean and readable code, using the best practices. The book is highly recommended for beginner developers. And now the best books for intermediate and expert level programmers. Number 1. Effective Java by Joshua Block. Effective Java is written by Joshua Block, who is also the author of many key Java classes and API, including Java.lang and Java Collection Framework. This book offers best practices to follow for making the code better. Effective Java divides all the mentioned best practices into 11 distinct sections, such as concurrency, generics, and methods, to make it easier for the reader to grasp it all. This book offers something to Java programmers of any skill level. Our next book is Java, The Complete Reference, 11th edition, by Herbert Schilt. If you are at the intermediate or expert level in Java and want a back-to-the-basics approach, then this book is the way to go as it's a well-structured and complete source on Java programming with examples from the real world for all topics. Java, the complete reference covers the whole of Java, including fundamental topics like syntax, keywords, and basic programming principles. And also the complex topics like the Java API library, the concurrency utilities, Swing, Java Beans, Servlets, etc. An introduction to JShell is also provided, which is Java's interactive programming tool. Our next book in this countdown are Thinking in Java by Bruce Eckel. 
This book contains 500 plus working Java programs and 700 plus compiling files that are rewritten for the newest edition of Java in this book. Thinking in Java begins with an object-oriented introduction for both beginners and experts and then follows it with topics like design patterns, introduction to XML, concurrency, etc. All in all, this is a book that will remain a relevant source of knowledge for you even after years of studying and coding in Java. Number 4. Java in a Nutshell, a desktop quick reference by Ben Evans and David Flanagan. Java in a Nutshell was written not only for experienced Java programmers but also for the beginners. The newest, 7th, edition is based on Java 11, that is, it has everything that a novice developer needs to know. This book is not lengthy, there are many examples, Java APIs, Java concurrency utilities and best development practices are reviewed. This book is easy to read. You can learn the basics of the language as well as useful programming techniques and new trends in Java. And the last one is Java 8 in Action by Alan Mycroft and Mario Fusco. If you need a Java 8 book with full coverage of its features, this one is for you. It will be easier for you to understand the material with some background in Java. But what's great about this book is the many-sidedness of practice. The examples include both proper and wrong code samples. Just be sure not to mix them up. All in all, this is a book with an obvious focus on practice, so you can use it as an additional source for the enhanced studying. All the books mentioned have their own benefits in their own way. This list was not made to rank, but to recommend good material for studies and imparting knowledge. You can refer whichever book to your comfort accordingly. Thank you for watching. If you found the video informative, please like, share and subscribe.